located right off the coast of Victoria, about 25 kilometers southeast of Melbourne, sits the beautiful town of Beaumaris. With its gorgeous coastline and welcoming scenery, it is home to approximately 14,000 residents. However, hidden in the depths of this charming town lies a harrowing secret that draws only one gut-wrenching question. What happened to Eloise Wallage? Born on October 8, 1967, Eloise Wallage was an eight-year-old girl living with her mother Patsy and father Lindsay in the coastal town of Beaumaris. She was a shy but happy young girl with a prosperous future ahead. However, Eloise would be abducted from her home in the dead of night on the 12th of January, 1976, never to be seen or heard from again. The timeline of events is as follows. The first of the family to retire to bed was Eloise's mother, Patsy, then the three children, four-year-old Blake, six-year-old Anna, and eight-year-old Eloise. Approximately an hour and a half later, the father, Lindsay, followed. Now, the normal nighttime routine consisted of the front door being locked and the final hallway light, which was left on when the children went to bed, being turned off by the last parent who retired for the night. Lindsay, thinking that Patsy had already locked the front door, did not check to see if it had actually been locked. Potentially fatally, the front door had in fact not been locked, and remained unlocked the entire night. He also, for whatever reason, did not turn off the hallway light. At approximately 4.45am, Patsy awoke to use the bathroom, and recalled that the light was no longer on. It is believed that by this time, Eloise had likely already been taken. It was actually her younger brother Blake that first notified anyone that the young girl was missing. He realized that she was not in her room around 7.30 a.m. At the time, Blake noted that he heard, quote, robbers kidnap his sister, but did not do or say anything, fearing that he too would be taken. He also recalled hearing crackling noises, which police believed to be, quote, consistent with steps on the seagrass floor covering the Wallage's bedroom, end quote. On initial investigation, no signs of forced entry or a struggle were found. However, a small hole had been cut in the fly screen of her window, but testing showed that it had been in fact cut from the inside. Furthermore, the hole was too small for someone to have come through, and as such, it was unlikely that she was taken from her window. Police believed that perhaps someone had tried to make it look as if the young girl had been taken from her bedroom window. Interestingly though, bark from a tree was found on Eloise's bedroom floor. Police suspect that Eloise had been lured from her room by someone she knew or trusted, likely leaving from the front door, which had remained unlocked. There were numerous sightings and witness accounts. At approximately 2am, a speeding car was noticed by a neighbour driving down Eloise's street. Another neighbor reported seeing a suspicious green Holden station wagon parked near the crime scene. Around 12 a.m., Anne Same, a woman who lived near Eloise, reported, quote, a young man walking down the fence line of the Wallage home, making her so uneasy that she crossed the street in avoidance, end quote. Similarly, Molly Saltz, another neighbor, reported seeing, quote, a young man jumped the fence into the Woolwich property after running in front of her car across the street. End quote. Around the same time of Anne Same's sighting. And lastly, at approximately 2 a.m., a woman named Daphne Owen Smith reported hearing the cry of a child followed by the sound of a car door slam. Anne Same also reported hearing the same thing. Not uncommonly in cases where a child has disappeared under suspicious circumstances, Eloise's parents, Lindsay and Patsy, were considered suspects. Her mother and father had a tumultuous relationship, and at the time of the disappearance, were each engaging in their own affairs. Lindsay, in particular, was often painted in a suspicious light. So much so that at the time of the disappearance, Patsy felt that her husband was, quote, involved in the disappearance as a means of prolonging the inevitable and as a way of spiting her." End quote. Lindsay was actually planning to move out right before his daughter disappeared, and would eventually move to his own place shortly after the investigation began. 
no conclusive evidence would ever be found to link either parent to the young girl's vanishing, and both would go on to remarry. Whilst initially, police theorised that the kidnapper may have been somebody that Eloise knew, given she was likely lured out of her home, they did explore potential random kidnappings. They looked relentlessly into known sex offenders and prowlers who were known to be in the area, but that too yielded no answers. The case was highly publicised, with a $10,000 reward being posted, equivalent to about $62,694 Australian dollars in this day and age. Thus far, no trace of Eloise Woolwich has ever been found. Having turned into a cold case, it was reopened and reinvestigated in 2001, but still, nothing was ever uncovered. Lindsay Woolwich died in 2017, and I was unable to find any conclusive information about whether or not Patsy is still alive. Patsy has previously stated that she has accepted her daughter's disappearance and no longer sees herself as the victim. Coroner Frank Hender commented that at this stage, considering so much time has passed with so little progress, it would be near impossible to identify who was responsible for the young girl's disappearance. This is a truly horrifying and gut-wrenching case, with very little closure for all of those involved. Thousands of people go missing every year, leaving their loved ones with more heartbreaking questions than answers. Please, if you have any information about this case, or any other Australian cases, contact Crime Stoppers on 1800 000 or visit the Crime Stoppers website. The link is in the description box below. Thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Stay safe and be well. This has been Follow 5 Declassified. I'll catch you in the next one.